Hey everybody. Hi guys. So today we wanted to sit down and talk to you about some key things to help you survive the coronavirus. Um, recently there's been a lot of things going on which is causing some uncertainty, um, some fear, and people just kind of don't really know what's going on and are trying to do the best that they can with this coronavirus. Yeah, we're definitely in some trying times right now. Some times that maybe this country hasn't necessarily faced and maybe the world hasn't necessarily faced. And it can be scary, it can be nerve wracking, and we just kind of want to go over some things that we have done to prepare ourselves as well as keep ourselves healthy and fit so that the coronavirus has the least impact in our lives. Correct. So today we're going to give you 10 things to help you survive the coronavirus. Let's jump in. Here we go. So for number one, we wanted to touch on eating predominantly whole foods. When Dustin and I were shopping for all of our foods, we noticed that there was a lot of frozen foods that were taken, um, a lot of processed stuff. And when we eat processed food or processed sugars, it really lowers our immune systems. So when we stock up with things like fresh veggies and whole foods, what that does is it really helps boost our immune system and it provides a bunch of minerals and vitamins that our body actually needs. All right, guys, number two on our list is... To drink plenty of water. Okay. <laughs> mm. Water helps us remove toxins, helps our bodies rid the things that we don't need, which will also help to remove the virusy things and the things that make us sick and feel unhealthy. Number three would be to make sure that you're getting plenty of rest. When we get rest, it helps our body recover. It also helps regulate our hormones as well as helps us relieve some stress. And number four on our list is movement. Get some movement. Get your body moving. Get some blood flowing. It helps remove stress. It helps re uh, cure anxiety or, or ease anxiety. And most of all, it makes you feel better. It makes you feel accomplished. Um, some things that we've tried is going for a walk, going for a hike, out into nature, but also Tanya and I are doing a coronavirus boot camp on my Facebook. And if you would like to join us there, we're doing it at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. We're gonna try to do it every day that we have service and that we can do it just to kind of give back and help out. So if you would like to find me on Facebook, look up Dustin Johnson on Facebook and we will be live doing the movements, doing the things, join us for the coronavirus boot camp. And I'll drop the, the link in our description. For number five, get some fresh air, soak up some vitamin D, that helps boost our immune system and it feels good. All right guys, so number six is to make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly. Use plenty of soap and water and make sure that you're really getting in between your fingers, on top, scrubbing all around. One thing that I have learned before is to sing the ABCs as you're washing your hands. That way you're really getting them nice and clean. And a little bit of soap and water goes a long way. At number seven, we got out of California. We needed some more water. So we made sure that we filled up our water tank full to the brim. So we were good to last a few weeks if we needed to, just long enough to kind of see where the craziness is going to take us. All right, for number eight, one of the things that we did was make sure to stock up on plenty of food. As most of you are aware, a lot of the stores are going or having shortages and we wanted to make sure that we were stocked up um, with foods that we normally eat and being prepared with dry goods and everything that we can to make sure that we are sustainable to be where we are during these trying times. At number nine, if we have a bunch of food, we also needed to make sure that we had enough propane. And actually while we were in California, the night before we headed to Nevada, we ran out of propane. So what do we do? We filled our propane tanks up so we can cook our food and enjoy our time together. At number 10, because we don't have bricks and sticks homes, <laughs> we're not secured by a roof over our heads necessarily, we're mobile, so we travel full time. Mm -hmm. So 
number 10 for us was to find a safe place to stay. Not saying that it was the 10th thing on our list, it's just one of the things that was very important to us. So for us, we feel most comfortable out of the cities, out into nature, and away from most of the pandemonium and, and, and the scare things that are going on. So we found ourselves this little gem. And we can say we feel absolutely safe here. All right, guys, that is our top 10 list. <laughs> of how we are going about the coronavirus and what we have done to prepare to be where we are today. For sure. And one thing I really want to talk about is the importance of not panicking. Um, we're already in stressful times and remember that we're all in this together. So at number 11, as a little bonus, <laughs> we want to say to lead with your heart. Hold the door for somebody. Smile. Let somebody in line. Don't take 11 rolls of toilet paper if, if you can get by with one. Everybody needs all the necessities just like you do. Mm -hmm. Open your heart up. Lead with your heart. Help everybody out. Check on your neighbors. Make sure everybody's okay. Because at the end of the day, we are all in this together mm -hmm. and we can all get through this together. Or we can make it extremely worse. So let's with that. Come. Let's come together as a community, as a nation, as a world as a world because we're all suffering help each other out and most importantly spread love spread love